Hello, and welcome back to Mr. Stewart's Lessons. Uh, if you've been to my YouTube channel before, you probably know I have a whole series of Greenfoot Lessons, but I'm doing them again, and uh, the reason is because uh, Greenfoot has changed, and my lessons, because they've been sitting there, haven't. And so I'm going to try and create a new series of lessons, which uh, is more in keeping with how Greenfoot is now, uh, and also um, and with some of the things I've learned about programming that maybe I didn't know before. Um, but if you've never done Greenfoot before, this is a good place to start. Uh, this is just a short lesson showing you how to download it. Uh, next lesson, I'll start showing you how to actually make a world and do something with it. So uh, if uh, you if you want to um, find it, the best thing, I would just Google download Greenfoot. That's the easiest way to do it, or Bing it for you Microsoft people. Um, so here is the download page. Uh, so uh, Windows, Mac OS X, or Ubuntu, uh, they're built in uh, the pure Java you can use for any other version um, if you want to. Uh, you're probably most likely on one of these two, so you can install it. Um, you're just going to click it. You're going to download it. I'm not going to go through the whole download. Uh, it's pretty much a, the standard um, procedure for installing most programs. Uh, so I'm not going to take you through that because you've hope, probably done something like that before. Um, and uh, when you start it, you're going to see uh, when you after you install it, you're going to see um, the Greenfoot, this is a, a sample Greenfoot page. Now, <clears throat> there's something in here already, um, but if you don't have, uh, most likely when you first start out, you may not have a scenario. Um, here's how you're going to start a scenario, and this is the important part. <clears throat> and Greenfoot's offered something new called Stride. There's a new Stride scenario, a new Java scenario. I'm just going to explain the difference between the two and why I'm doing Java and not Stride, and I'll show you what one is or the other. Um, so if you do a uh, new Java scenario, um, I'll just call it, uh, let me put it in the right place, um, new Mr. Stewart's Lessons folder, and uh, I'll call it new Java scenario. Right, so you're going to give it a name. Notice I'm giving it a name. When I give it a name, it's, it's going to create a uh, folder with some stuff in it. There's going to be, um, it's going to create uh, various things in here. Um, a Java program is not, if I, if I go into, um, if I actually go into the page, a Java program actually has a number of different uh, files in it. It's not just a single file, um, unlike some other programs that you may be working with. Um, and if you look, right, my new Java scenario, you'll see there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. This is the project. Um, <clears throat> you'll notice there's, this is the actual Java file. This is the file that actually has your program. Um, this is the project that sort of tells it uh, that, that, that it, it just makes the program start. Uh, the actual real program is in here. I'm not going to oh I'm not going to talk too much about what these other things but you notice there's a place for images a place for sounds um, I just and so if you look um, if you look say in the my world so you're noticing um, this is this is Java right I'm not going to explain what these things are but I'm just showing you this so you can see the difference between this and a stride scenario notice um, this here we have what's called a class I'm going to talk in more detail about what it is but You'll notice that things are enclosed by curly brackets here. Uh, if you're going to do Java, you got to know your curly brackets, and it involves a lot of curly in a lot of curly brackets. I don't think they're that hard, um, but uh, so you, you have a lot of detail, and you can sort of add things anywhere. Um, I, I'm just going to show you uh, the the difference between a Java and a Stride scenario. Uh, if you look at the Stride scenario here, uh, big difference with the Stride scenario is. There's no curly brackets. If you were, if you compare the two, um, if you were to compare the Java scenario and the um, and the Stride scenario, uh, you, you, you'll actually see. Um, I'm just going to put them next to each other just so you can see. Sorry, I don't want to. I'm just going to put the the two 
world classes next to each other so you can see how they're the same and how they're different. And I'm going to explain why I'm doing one and not the other. And if you're not interested, if you don't really care, you can just skip right to the next lesson. Um, you'll notice that the parts here are actually the same, right? And, um, you know, here's class my world extends world, class my world extends world, public my world. Um, and then there's the super 600, 400. Don't worry about what those mean yet. Um, but what you don't see here is the curly brackets, right? Um, the and the uh, stride scenario does uh, has a lot of stuff built in. It has some, and all of these are things that you yourself can type and that you yourself can put in. Uh, it just sort of allows you to put in some stuff um, more easily. And um, the the reason I'm doing Java and not Stride is because I feel like if you're doing this, it's because you want to learn to program. And it, I, what you're learning here is Java. And Java is a super powerful language. And uh, that means you have to, you're going to have to learn to deal with some curly brackets. That's, that's, I think that in, in the long run, it'll be a lot easier. But most of what I do, you'll probably be able to do in a stride scenario without having to actually type the curly brackets. So that's it. Next lesson, I'm actually going to show you how to put something in the wide world and make something happen. Uh, I will see you in the next.